sometimes you gotta just pull out your gloves and fight but you need to know the best way to fight keep watching to find out what book i'm talking about on kyla's reading day hey i'm kyla denanyo and you're watching kyla's reading day today we're talking about the book professional troublemaker the fear fighter manual bam 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 <laughs> This book was written by Lovey Ajaye Jones. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is self-confidence and motivational. So I wish I could tell you everything I loved about this book, but there is literally not enough time, right? Like Lovey would come after me for copyright infringement if I read every single quote that I loved from the book. There are so many things that are underlined, hyphenated, doubles line like I got I got red highlight I got green highlight I got black highlight because this is actually a book that I own so I make sure I write into it <laughs> so there's all kinds of notes and all kinds of things that I really love but one quote that really 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 touched me was this it's in the chapter called fire yourself and the quote is if courage is a mirage trust that God will order your steps very simple sentence okay 12 words if control is a mirage trust that god will order your steps if control is a mirage trust that god will order your steps so with every book review the quotes that jump out to me or the plot twists that jump out to me have something to do with what's relevant to my life right now and right now i am right smack dab in the middle of toddler funness <laughs> I wanted to say mania, but that's not true. The kiddo was amazing, amazing. And I cannot control what the kiddo does. I can't control if they eat their lunch. I can't control if they want to get dressed. I can't control why, why they don't want to get out the bath. I can't control, I can't control it. I cannot control it. <laughs> and if control is a mirage, trust that God will order my steps. That blessed me, okay? And when I say blessed, I mean that with my heart. Like, as I was reading the book, it kept making me think of getting like chastised from a big sister, but then you know there's love and encouragement on the other side, right? Like, I used to go to church with a pastor who would say, if it's a good word, it rolls down your street and over your toes. And there were so many things in this book that rolled over my toes. You know, they got a little ankle there too. They were coming at me, <laughs> right? Like there's chapters in the book called Dream Audaciously. Oh, audaciously? Fail loudly and fire yourself. So just off jump, just looking at the chapters, you're like, fear fighter manual, fire yourself, be audacious. And I'm like, like Lovey was giving us full permission to do what we need to do. And I really, really appreciate it. I wrote myself in a Reiki. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it, but I did write one. Um, Lovey is famous on Twitter for writing those about everyone. She has one about Michelle Obama. That's incredible. She wrote one about Amanda Gorman. Like if there's something big that happens, she'll write one and the origins of it and where it comes from in its history were explained in the book. And so I did take the time, you know, she says, sit down, brag on yourself, write, write about yourself. And I did it. It was great. And also I tried to get a Nigerian friend. I'm still working on it. <laughs> My last name is Ghanaian. And my husband's side of the family is Ghanaian, so I tend to, you know, be around more Ghanaians, but Nigerians are there too, right? I'm working on getting a Nigerian friend. The reason that that quote is so important to me is because I cannot control everything the kiddo does. I just can't, right? And love is not about control and possession. It's about love. And so I have to believe what she ate in the morning, the snack she's eating has to be enough to carry her through. I have to believe that even if her daily report says she ate a little bit of this and none of that, she was eating what she felt her body needed at the time, right? I can't be like, no, eat everything that I put in the box or why did I pack this two days in a row? One day you touch it, next day you didn't. Let it go. <laughs> Control is a mirage. Girl, let it go, right? So... Again, I wish I could call out everything in the book that really touched me, but that quote really, really spoke to me a lot. So 
Uh, the last thing on the list, would I reread this book? Yes. Capital Y-E-S apostrophe exclamation point. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. I would definitely read Professional Troublemaker again, right? I am a lawyer. I'm rocking my school shirt here. And I believe that advocating is being a professional troublemaker. You are fighting for the rights of something. A lot of times people aren't on the same side with you. And you may be stirring up some feathers, negotiating, doing whatever you need to do as you are being a professional troublemaker. So yes, I would absolutely read this book again. And I appreciate you for sticking around with me as I talk about the book, Professional Troublemaker. Here you go. <laughs> Let me know if you've read this book. Let me know if you've read anything by Lovey Ajaye Jones. I also follow her on Instagram, but I don't get on there as much as Twitter. So yeah, I'm so happy that I started following her and actually was able to pick up the book and read it, right? So leave me a comment and please like this video. That really does help YouTube share it to other people who are looking to become professional troublemakers, looking to hear about motivational books, books that are all about how to be your best self and use the Fear Fighter manual. So until next time, thank you for watching Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.